Welcome everybody to my secondary channel, Aromatically Speaking. The postponement of Smell It Sunday, I guess this is maybe the first ever Smell It Monday. Hey, uh, yesterday I was, I was in trouble. I was under the weather, I still am a little bit. Uh, I couldn't even keep my eyes open because my head was throbbing me. But thank you for joining me today. If you can make it hauling wax, Doug, uh, we all know Doug from Spooky Villages. Uh, and if you're watching this live stream or if you're watching it later, please do me a favor. Uh, take a brief second and swing over to Hauling Wax. It's a brand new channel by Doug, and uh, this is where he has complete freedom to talk about candles and uh, aromatics without it getting mixed up with his uh, village vlogs, which is really cool. So Doug now also has two channels. Congratulations, Doug. I'm trying to consume some of this coffee, and then we're gonna drop right into it. But first things first, I gotta pull you guys up. And I gotta turn the music down. So, what's been happening, guys? It's been a week since I've seen you, and that's not it. And uh, there's something I want to mention today. Uh, get it out of the way real quick because today, um, uh, well, yesterday really was the end of the promotional code, but I heard the promotional code for which city Wix still might be, uh, available until this evening. I can't, I can't make a any guarantees, but I was talking to Liz from which city Wix, what we, if, if, if you're in the dark here, which city Wix is, a uh, is a Candle Company, very small batch candle company out of Salem, Massachusetts that I talk to all the time. And we have been trying to collaborate more and more as time goes on. And we put together a promotional code for the holidays, 15% off site wide. All you have to do is fill up your shopping cart, type in TCE for the candle enthusiast, TCE 15, and that will get you 15% off your entire purchase. But not just that, there is an exclusive, an exclusive uh, box set for candle enthusiast viewers. So if you're watch, if you watch aromatically speaking, or if you watch my main channel, the candle enthusiast, this box set is for us. I essentially, people always ask me, what candles? If I'm going to order from which city wicks? Because Liz has a handful of amazing candles, a handful, probably at least two dozen. Um, and people are always asking me, what, what, what are the ones I should start off with? Uh, what are the ones that are great for holidays? Which, which are the ones uh, that are great for uh, gifting, uh, especially for the holiday season? So I put together my selection of my top four picks for the holidays. And I, I thought uh, uh, Liz and I could put together a little box set, postcard from her, postcard from me, a little bit of words of wisdom from me, a little bit of swag from her. And uh, you use that promo code and get 15% off. So make sure you swing over to whichcitywix.com. And in the search bar, just type in candle enthusiast. And what this will do is, because it's not open to the public, if you type in the candle enthusiast, the page will show. I talked to Liz yesterday. There's a handful left, uh, which is good, which is good. Uh, I, uh, I was worried it would rather sell too slow or too fast, but it looks like we're pretty good, pretty good. This way she can get them all out uh, so everyone will have them and plenty of time for Christmas. Let's see who we got down here. We have Rachel, Julie, Sugar Pie Cottage, Hauling Wax. Uda, Uda, your candle is on the way. There was a little bit of a holdback, and I apologize. I apologize. Um, but your candle is on your way, and I'll make up for it. I'll put something else in there for my tardiness. Um, and Stephanie's saying sh uh, she's enjoying Doug's new channel. So not only do you have my testimonial, but you have Stephanie Hall's as well. Uh, and Stephanie, thank you. Thank you so much for reposting and sharing uh, a lot of my links. Uh, I saw Stephanie, she had reposted um, 
the box set with Witch City Wicks, the collaboration. I really appreciate that. Um, we have Eric in the house. Uh, I'm sure he's wondering. My hand is a little, little sore, but it's really, it's really up in here, like the deltoid region. Um, I was doing a little bit of uh, an old pastime of mine yesterday. You know, I'm, 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 product, I'm a product of the '80s, so I, uh, I grew up watching '80s films, and uh, Sly Stallone is one of my uh, heroes. And um, there was a, 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 a local, not local, but there was a, uh, the, 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 the state national champs for, for arm wrestling was in town. They were here locally. I thought I'd go in and participate, see how far. I'm completely kidding, guys. I'm completely kidding. Um, I wish I had better jokes for you. But um, if you're a part of the Candle Enthusiast Facebook fan group, there might be a chance you know what I'm talking about there. Um, Hauling Wax says, I'm sick as well with a nasty head cold. Yes, that's where it is for me too, Doug. Guess everyone is dealing with it. I, I usually get massive sinus headaches, like here, 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 behind my ears and the back of my head. It's kind of a mixture of tension and sinus headaches but uh it was the 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 the, the trio of headaches yesterday it was a tension headache uh, which usually brings on the sinus headache and then if that lasts long enough it brings on the migraine so it was just a disaster it was literally 18 hours of me trying to keep my eyes open like this so I could not make it live yesterday. I hope you guys are okay with that. Hauling Wax says, The Candle Enthusiast family has been great uh, to help me get started. That's great. That's fantastic to hear, Doug. Um, and I kind of uh, promised you that I'd give you a, a rather large shout-out, and I missed that opportunity. So I'm glad you're here to remind me today. I'm so bad. I should have, like, cue cards, script cards here. Um, and Eric's saying this is my favorite live already. Um, where is Santa? People have been asking me where Santa is. Santa is usually with me when I travel. All right. So don't be mad at me, guys. Don't be mad. But Santa, Santa has been, he's been, in like my box of trap I, I have to travel with sometimes like two dozen candles because I never know what I'm going to evaluate on the road I always want to be prepared so Santa is he's okay he's he's alive and well I'm gonna put him right up there against the screen um, who has anyone received the witch city wicks box set yet I think, I think somebody said that they did. But I'm going to show you, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to show you real quick, just in case you missed last week's live, or I don't know, if you want, I didn't really have the candles in front of me to show you. Now, you won't be getting the full-size jars, uh, but this is good because you really want to test them out see what's your cup of tea because i really really mix them up uh, you'll be getting travel tins four of these uh for 24 dollars uh this is uh i think 2.2 ounces of wax 100 percent soy wax and again if you use that promo code try using it i think it's good until 11 p.m tonight standard or Eastern Standard Time. So New York time, Disney World time. Um, give it a try, but if not, it's all good. Support small business. Um, I'm, they're totally, $24 for four of these candles are, is totally worth it. And uh, so the first candle uh, that's in that box set is going to be Krampus. 
Krampus. Now, Krampus is the antithesis of Santa Claus. I'm not going to go over these fragrances again because we did that exactly last week. Make sure you check out last week's uh, episode, but I did want to show you the full-size labels uh, and candles. I actually I still have two of these. This one is older than this one by one year and they smell exactly the same. And the intensity is exactly the same. And the color is the same. Um, I've had, for my, I've been buying Witch City Wicks now for three plus years. And the very first candle I ever purchased, I never even burned. I still have it and it's still Smells fantastic. They have great shelf life. So if you want to burn a little bit and then save it for a special occasion, burn it months down the line, or if you just want to burn it on Halloweens and not kind of burn through it all in one shot, you always have that option too. So Krampus was the first one on the list. And then you guys are going to want to hang in tight because we're going to be doing an unboxing from not which city wicks, but Washington Wicks. Is Nikki in the house? Yes, she is. Nikki is in the house. Uh, one of the biggest reasons I felt terrible about canceling yesterday was because I had this box from uh, Washington Wicks and I wanted to open it up, but I just didn't have it in me. Um, also in the box set that you'll be receiving, is Salem. This is Liz, or Witch City Wicks, signature scent. It's available all year round, but and it is also one of their, their top sellers. One of the most aromatically friendly candles that they have. You know, what's great about Witch City Wicks is that, you know, there really is something for everybody, which also means there's definitely candles probably that you won't enjoy at Witch City Wicks because there's such diversity in, in the aromatics, right? Some things are your cup of tea, some things are not. But what's, I think, uh, I think a very f f a safe statement for me to make about this candle is that it's very friendly and that everyone will enjoy it. And it just provokes that. If you've ever been to Salem, Massachusetts, or you, you can imagine what it would be like to be um, up in Salem, um, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know. It feels like the London of New England. You know, it's just this beautiful, uh, beautiful place that, uh, has such a, a mystic feeling whenever you're walking around. All of the history, the buildings, um, the, depending on the time of the year, the foliage or the flowers, and of course you're near the the coast. Um, and also because this is somewhat of a Christmas box, I picked one of another one of my favorites. This one's called Church. And the reason why I picked this one, yes, yeah, it smells fantastic. It's the classic blend of frankincense and myrrh. Check this out. I'm not showing the boxes. You get these beautiful Tim Burton-esque boxes. Um which I love. Liz told me she picked these boxes specifically. So if anyone, um, that no one really could steal the aesthetic because this is very, <laughs> this, is, this is very specific. If another candle company were, was using these boxes, you know, it's kind of hard to deny that, uh, that it doesn't look like Witch City Wicks. Uh, but you have this beautiful stained glass window. This is frankincense and myrrh, two resins synonymous with the holiday season uh, churches of all different kinds. I actually don't know the extent of uh, what churches, which, which religion specifically burn this incense. But it's not just a, a church thing. Uh, medicinal properties going all the way back to... Uh, uh, 
ancient Egypt and um, a lot of people when they smell this candle they're surprised that it's not smoky it's not it's not even a little bit because when we think about frankincense and myrrh during the holiday season I grew up an Irish Italian Catholic so they would walk around with the incense burner during Christmas mass and it was mainly the smoke because what they do in that little ball that they burn and they swing around, they put in the resin, but they also put in the, like, these little wooden pellets, kind of like what you would put into a wood stove. And uh, the, the wood burns, which, also, which at, at that point melts uh, the resin and creates this aromatic experience. But this is not the smoky experience. It's the very sweet, very bright but also deep and robust because there's a there's a fruity, bright, piney, citrusy side to frankincense, uh, and myrrh is a very thick, rich, heavy, dusty, uh, 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 but also very sweet smell as well. It just smells like an old New England church. The walls have absorbed all of that beautiful incense throughout the years. When I smell it, it brings me right back to Christmas. So I had to put that into the collection. And also one that I do not have, I'm still waiting on it. Uh, on my main channel, I'm going to be doing an edited video of the box set, but Liz, um, she's working on getting me a box set this week. So on my main channel, The Candle Enthusiast, if you're not subscribed over there, make sure you swing on over. Uh, I'm going to have an edited video with close-ups uh, and show you what the box set looks like. Because uh, I still really don't know exactly for sure. She hasn't sent me any pictures as far as postcards. And if you did receive it in the mail, take pictures. Take pictures and, and uh, tag me uh, on Instagram. Uh, but how she's wrapping it, how she's boxing the box set, I would love to see it. And then, this is not a part of the box set, but I do have this. I showed you, because everything on the website is 15% off. Uh, so, I think Christmas morning is still available. Um, what's the full name? Um, the, the Small Production Cathedral Candle? I forget the full name. Uh, is available... Um, there's a few new fragrances available for Christmas, and I'm not sure if this one's sold out. It might be, and I apologize if it is, if I'm tempting you guys, because this one is awesome. But go over and check it out to see if it's still available. Uh, Liz has a black collection, which uh, means that uh, some of the fragrances that come in, in her normal vessels... She'll put in these black reusable tumblers, but this one right here does not come in any other format other than this tumbler right here. It's called Black Christmas, and I am a huge fan of the original Black Christmas horror film uh, starring Margot Kidder, um, and... The presentation on this is great. You gotta have a dark side to Christmas. Yeah, you're probably not gonna burn black Christmas on Christmas Eve. You can. But I just, I love the idea of a little bit of spooky gothicness during the, the holiday season. And black Christmas, what an elegantly gothic way to, to have that experience. Now, if you look on the top there, we do have... Uh, it's still 100% soy wax. It is black. Um, and there is also a chrome glitter on top of that wax. And I love that Liz gives you, ton Liz gives you tons of extra wick. I love that. Um, because uh, we all burn our candles differently. Sometimes I like to have a little bit of extra length on my wicks. But yeah, I mean, really uh, uh, rich uh, wood, amber, spice, vanilla, pine cone, 
And when I said wood, let me go back and say cedar. I've never burned this candle before. I've never burned this candle. This was actually gifted to me. I think there's probably a little bit of myrrh in here too. It's got a little bit of incense. And it's not crazy strong. It's potent, but it's not intense. Like really, you know, attacking my, my nasal passages at this moment. So I think this is, a, this is a really nice candle if you want to fill up this mysterious, mystical, lingering, I always say soft linger smell throughout the house. But also keep it, oh, there's definitely myrrh. I just got it right now. It's funny, I can smell it on the bubble wrap. That is funny. Yeah. Um, definitely myrrh in here. So it has that, myrrh is a very like uh, sweet and rich, little bit of this black licorice thing happening here. And the way you can always spot myrrh, it's a little trick is that it has the slightest, the slightest smell of latex to it. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. It's got the slightest smell of latex. It's just the property of the actual oil uh, or the resin itself. So Black Christmas, definitely, definitely a dark approach to the Christmas, especially aesthetically. So I can't uh, can't express enough to you guys uh, how much um, I'd love to see you go over and visit which city Wix. At least take a look at what she has. Try the promotional code. It might still be good for today. TCE15 gets you 15% off the entire site. She said, uh, I reached out to Liz. She said the, the promotional code is actually doing very well. Um, I wasn't sure how good it would go especially because it was like bath and body works mania last week so i didn't know how much extra money you guys were gonna have to spend but um yeah she said it was doing pretty well and um we made the the box set limited to 50 only 50 of them but they're doing well uh, as as well and there's a handful of those left so if you need an introductory into Witch City Wix, this is it. This is the opportunity. Um, this is my best recommendation for you. Or if you want to get someone in your family into candles, show them a little bit more of the sophisticated side of aromatics and aroma fragrances. Um, this is a, a great way to kind of segue you know, uh, them into more of the complex, more of the mystical, more of the fan fantastical side, storytelling, thought-provoking side of candles versus, you know, candles that they may already be familiar with, like blueberry that they find at the pharmacy or, um, you know, French vanilla that they'll find at... Uh, another boutique. Nothing wrong with a blueberry and French vanilla candle, but um, Liz's candles are always going to be far more complex than that. Let me see who else we have in the house here. Rachel says, I can't even begin to describe. I was just expecting a Christmas tree type scent and didn't get that at all. Oh, Cathedral of Evergreens. I smelled it uh, yesterday in the store, and it was a surprise. A surpri I, I wa <clears throat> and was surprised. I didn't smell like trees, and was surprised it didn't smell like trees. You type right, Rachel. I just speak terribly. Um, I have. I smelled that candle last year in December when I was in the store. Only you know, whenever I'm in the shop, I'm smelling like hundreds of things that Liz is, is working on. Um, so I just couldn't really recall I think somebody was asking on the Facebook fan group again one more plug the candle enthusiast Facebook fan group if you're not a part of this swing over to Facebook 
uh, and search, search, search this group up and become a part of what I call the candle enthusiast bubble. Keep in the loop. Um, um, but yeah, I couldn't remember what it looked like. Um, and then we're going to get to Washington Wicks in a bit. Let me just make sure I got all of you guys here. The beard is starting to look good, Shane. Thank you. Shonda, thank you very much. Um, you know, I, I, I'm trying to mix it up. I'm trying to mix it up. I had, I had a full beard for a long while, and, um, and when was it? It was California. Yeah, I mean, I think, it, it, well, when I was, whenever I was working in, in a rest, restaurant or uh, winery setting, you know, having facial hair, you gotta sometimes wear, I think I actually, believe it or not, don't ask me why I have it. I can't believe I have this right here. But sometimes you have to wear these things and it becomes really embarrassing and annoying. Don't ask, like I said, I know this is the most random thing in the world that I have this just laying right here on my floor. I was just unpacking. And yeah, so when you're working in the kitchen, the last thing you really want is accessories on your face. Um, and um, to fix that, I would just, I would shave and keep my hair shorter um, when I was at the Culinary Institute of America. In fact, in Culinary Institute of America, you can't have facial hair. They don't allow you to. You can have a mustache <laughs> um, because of the old days. They allowed the mustaches uh, and your sideburns have to be cut up to a certain point. I've had friends who were chefs have actually walked up to them and handed them a razor and told them to go to the, the restroom and shave. Crazy. Anyway. Uh, Leslie's gotta go. Uh, take care, Leslie. Thank you for joining in. Uh, Silver Moon Candles, make sure you look up Leslie. Make sure you keep up to date with what she is doing. Har Queen says, I'm burning Washington wicks right now. Awesome. Um, I have three Washington, w I, excuse me, I have three Witch City Wicks candles, but I haven't burned them yet. No Christmas ones yet, says Shonda. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Those, those hair nets were from when I visited the Crown Maple, the Maple, the Maple House, the Sugar House. And I, they were in my backpack. Because when I went in, I was I was getting footage of the bottles, them bottling the, the maple syrup, and putting the labels on. I needed to wear those. Costa, what's up, everyone? What's up, Shane? Not much. A little bit under the weather, but uh, other than that, I'm, I can't complain. Got my coffee with Rudolph. The red-nosed reindeer, it's overexposed. But on the back side, we have the Bumble. The abominable snow monster. Which was gonna be Elsa's uh, first name. But I didn't want to do that to Elsa. Do you know if Liz Helper Hottie Shane, do you know if Liz's helper, Hottie, at the store is single? So Eric's asking me if uh, Liz's helper um, is single. I, I wouldn't know, and I'm not sure if I know who you're talking about. It's talking about. Um, I know that someone who does work with her is the actual person who wrote the short story of... 
uh, the candle Rachel was just talking about. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe I should ask. Maybe, maybe you should ask and let me know. Okay, Rachel said, when will we see the maple syrup video? So I got an email from the CEO yesterday. And he's like, and this is not how you do an email. Um, I was reading it and it was on my cell phone. But he said, uh, you know, Shane, just checking in to see how things are going. And I told him, um, looking at the footage, you know, with, with making these videos, there's always a risk when you're making these videos when they're completely unscripted. Um... One thing I was not aware of when I went, I went to Crown Maple. Crown Maple is like the lead, the, one of the forerunner, not forerunners, but leading maple syrup producers. Uh, uh, well, especially in, in New York. I mean, I'm not going to say in, in the Northeast, but especially in New York. And um, they were the official maple syrup producers of the Culinary Institute of America. That's how I knew they were. And... I visited for a day and I went out to uh, the Sugar Forest, is what they call it, um, the Sugar Farm. They showed me all the taps. Um, but when you go and you do something that's not scripted like that, you never know what kind of footage you're going to come home with. And uh, I, we we have we discussed I discussed with the CEO yesterday about maybe me perhaps me returning. In January that's when harvest actually begins in January so uh, I, I filmed an entire tasting which I can post um, but I'd rather tell the story of this this actual company so you know it's just another video that is on my list of videos that are incomplete I actually have to drive all the way back up to Sturbridge. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, this coming week to finish a video that I already thought I had done. So it's just, uh, I'm trying to keep calm. I'm trying not to get too anxious. I'm trying to get too nervous. I want to be posting like a fiend right now. And I know that's not happening. This is the worst time of the year to be posting slowly. But I'd rather just get these videos done right and post them um, when they're available to go. You know, I'm changing things up, guys. You know, I'm, I'm doing different kinds of videos now. And there's always a risk that, you know, some things don't go exactly how you planned or some things are a surprise. Um, sometimes things are gold when you never think they would be. And sometimes it's just the opposite. But Crown Maple, we'll, we'll see that video soon will probably be two videos to answer your question. Uh, two weeks till Christmas, got frosty gingerbread burning. Anyone who thinks Yankee has a light scent should try that one. What a monster candle that is. Costa, can you tell me if you're burning that in a two-week tumbler uh, or a house warmer jar, paraffin jar, or maybe some other format? Could you let me know? All right, so we have a box right here from Washington Wicks. That is correct. Washington Wicks, based out of Washington. Uh, the state of Washington, the Pacific Northwest. And uh, my good friend, Nikki, who is in the house as we speak, she sent me this box. And I got to be careful not to show the address, although it's probably safe to show the address, but... Let's, I got, I got a screwdriver. I couldn't find my knife. So let me open this up and let me try not to rip anything that's inside. Uh, now Washington Wicks, I don't know. How long has it been, Nikki? Has it been, it's over a year. But if you guys, um, Really, I mean, just something you should do um, is go onto your Instagram account and make sure that you're following Washington Wicks. Um, because just like Witch City Wicks, you know, 
Um, I really think we're going to see massive growth with Washington Wicks. Uh, exponential growth in the coming years. Um, all right, so we have peanuts. I'm going to try not to make a mess. I just cleaned up a little bit. Usually I throw them everywhere. We have a card right here. Shane, let's read this open. A year and three months. Fantastic. So what's kind of cool about that is that, Nikki, you started Washington Wicks about a year um, a year into when I was doing the Candle Enthusiast. Because I'm about two years and three months. And look at that. That's cute. Look at this. Got... Uh, Love my snowflakes. That kind of looks like the opening sequence from Frosty the Snowman, does it not? The snowflakes are falling right before Jimmy Durante starts narrating or singing the song. Just wanted to say thank you for all of the love. You got it, Nikki. And support you have given to Washington Wicks. Thought I'd send you a little love and a piece of Washington State for you to enjoy. I hope you have a restful and joyous holiday with family and friends. Thanks again. Love, Nikki. Nikki, right back at you. Much love. Uh, and it says, hope you, have, uh, uh, hope you have the kind of year that brings lots of smiles. I really do, too. Enjoy. Uh, I'm saying that. I really do, too. Uh, enjoy your holiday. Thank you so much, Nikki. I really... Always appreciate the sentiment, and when it comes to all of the support, you never really have to thank me. Uh, even if we didn't know each other, I'd still be talking about your stuff. So uh, it's just a pleasure that uh, that I. It's my pleasure that I get to call you a friend, and that you're a part of this little bubble of positivity, as I call it, the candle enthusiast positivity. Um, and check this out. Really amping up the artwork here. I love this. We have the Washington Wicks logo. And this is not even like a, this is like a poster. This is not a postcard. This is a poster. Washington Wicks. Look at that. Um, we have those, uh, uh, I guess, I, I, yeah, okay. I was going to be more specific on what kind of tree, but some kind of forest coniferous trees in the back. The conifers with a skull and the candle plunge, plunge into the skull. And that beautiful flare. I love that flare. Ever since I was a little kid and I saw E.T. and saw all of the beautiful flares in that movie, I was fascinated by flares. Until, what was it, the Star Trek movie came out. J.J. Abrams, he kind of, kind of overdid it a little bit. Unique stories and fragrances inspired by the Pacific Northwest. Micro-batch handcrafted soy candles out of what? Help me out here. Is it Washugal? 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 Washington? Um... And this is great. There's a lot of information on the company. So if you order from which, uh, excuse me, Washington Wicks, uh, you have information on Nikki, you have information on the company, uh, their mission, and all of that stuff. The context behind candles is incredibly important. I cannot state that enough. All right, first thing I'm grabbing here, I'm guessing this is not a candle. It's so festive. <laughs> it is, this is special for a couple of reasons. It is Big the Foot, as I call him, or as one of my favorite YouTubers calls him, Big the Foot. This is the same Bigfoot uh, car air freshener 
that Adam the Woo has hanging in, uh, well, he used to have hanging in his van. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, Pacific Northwest, yes, that's where uh, Bigfoot... Oh, this is so cool. And what's kind of funny about this, it's kind of an ongoing joke. Oh, and I know the company who makes this, Archie McPhee. Uh, if you've ever seen my skeleton air c car freshener in my car, it's the same company. But let me grab Nikki's candle real quick. Nikki has a candle that I was going to produce a video on this year. And I was going to go all out and crazy. Like, what was that show called on Nickelodeon? Wild and Crazy Kids. I was going to go crazy. I was going to make uh, a kind of a, a, a Blair Witch Project-esque candle evaluation, Bigfoot in the forest, Sasquatch video um, that never, never panned out this summer. Um, but one, one of these days I have to do it. Um, because I just make, I love making ridiculous videos like that. Um, but she has uh, this candle that I love. It's called Sasquatch. And I, I, I can't burn it yet because I don't want to burn it until I do my evaluation. But this is, oh my God, it's this super fresh, evergreen, maybe even minty mossy out in the forest this is very very fresh and you know how green vegetation uh mossy grassy clover rich herbal candles can smell like the bathroom this one doesn't at all um She's, she's, she's got a candle, there's a little bit of, yeah, there's definitely a bit of mintiness to this. I love that. Uh, just, it's like that, that mintiness is making me think of like being by a brook and getting a little bit of cool mist in the air. Um, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, 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 Nikki's got another candle called Dirt Nap, which is Dirt Nap, you heard me correct which really is this kind of like face in the dirt, in the grass. And it's very dry and it's very, well, I wouldn't say it's dry, but it's not as uh, fresh and springtime, summertime as this one is. Uh, and so both great. One's a little bit more of a, a somber autumn, winter approach, where this one is that forest experience with a lot of green all around you. So one day, I'll get around to evaluating that. But I think that's what this is in reference to. Uh, Bigfoot, or Big the Foot, car freshener, beautiful. I love it, I love Bigfoot. Um, it's just, I, I remember my brother and I were talking about how fun it would be to make a video. So one of these days, I would love to make a fun Bigfoot Sasquatch-esque video. Try not to make a mess here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Oh, and look at this, Columbia Ridge uh, Gorge, River Gorge. Um, I'm guessing that's part of the Columbia Valley in Washington. Um, we have a sticker here, Bigfoot Coffee Roasters. And it says Columbia River Gorge. 
Now, a lot of my knowledge of Washington State is wine, Washington wine, and I know Columbia Valley. I wonder if that, if this is actually located in Columbia Valley, but this, we got a bag of coffee. We got about 12 ounces of coffee right here uh, from Papua New Guinea. Uh, we have what appears to be a medium roast, medium and a medium plus roast mixed together, if, if I'm looking at it correctly. Um, awesome. I've certainly never heard of this company before. And what a great name for a candle company, Bigfoot Coffee Roasters. I need this. Like, I, I seriously need this. Like, I'm out. I was out of coffee this morning. And I've been drinking a lot of tea. Just because it's really hard to stay stocked up on good coffee. That is a huge, huge uh, gift. And you know what? I'm going to be off on the road. I'm leaving... I'm leaving in a few days. I'm kind of undecided yet, but this might actually join me on my trip. Thank you so much, Nikki. And Papua New Guinea, or Papua, I don't know. I know sometimes people make fun of me of, of pronouncing that wrong. Papua, Papua New Guinea is uh, some fantastic coffee comes from this region. Um, if, if you are, if you're unsure, all right, so that looks like a candle. Let's hold off on that. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm telling you guys are so, you know, so, so cool. I, I can't, I can't say enough about you guys. Look at this. We have a company by Graphic Cotton Crew, Sock Smith, No Boring Socks, made out of Santa Cruz, California, Morgan Bat in the house. We have more Bigfoot. I think Nikki is sending me a sign. Uh, one of two things, whether I got to get my butt to uh, Washington State to make a, a Bigfoot video uh, or I need to get to this evaluation of this candle. But I love, I love socks. It's one thing that you guys never really, never really get to see because I don't show you my socks. But I try to keep it as fun as possible. It's a little thing that I, a little trick I did when I, I when I had to wear a suit every day. The one thing I could do to, to maintain my sanity was by wearing the most fun socks as I possibly could. So if I was ever taking myself too seriously because I was dressed in a two or three piece suit, I could always just look at my socks or people could always see my socks and it would remind me of who I really am underneath that suit. Uh, Cause sometimes, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm just not a, a suit and tie kind of person, but uh, perfect, perfect. Look at that. Socks, Bigfoot socks, Sasquatch socks. Now is Bigfoot a Sasquatch or is Sasquatch a Bigfoot? I don't know. That definitely looks like a candle. This is so awesome. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Also from Bigfoot coffee roasters. This is, I'm um, guys, come on. All right, a lot of Bigfoot stuff here, but if you know how much I like Bigfoot, you would understand how much this means to me. Those feet just don't look big, they are big. We have this Bigfoot plush wearing his flannel, Washington State right there, 
and he has a hood. He's got a little hood. Look at this. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, man. Santa? I don't know, Santa. You might have a little bit of competition. I love plush. I love plush. You know why I love plush? They don't break. You can move them easily. They're light. Uh, and they'll last you your entire life. I love plush. Um, and... This is, yeah, there is no other word for it. It is adorable. Bigfoot Sasquatch, the stuffed animal house. Oh, and this has got some information on Bigfoot here. That looks like it, was, it could answer some of the questions I was just asking. And it says, because we care, no child labor was used in the manufacture um, of this item. Very, very cool. Very cool. I'm trying to think where I'm going to put them. I have a set of Mo, Larry, and Curly about this size right up here. I think Bigfoot will go right there next to Mo, Larry, and Curly. How does that sound? <laughs> I love this. I love this. And this is definitely a candle. Why? I can smell it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, ca I can't say enough. Um, about these labels, Nikki. Um, really, really... I'm forgetting the name of the artist. Uh, give him a little plug or shout out if he's got an Instagram. He or she has an Instagram uh, profile. But whoever they are, they do amazing work. I'm actually very, very jealous because I like this style. I would love to be able to draw or even paint in this style. This is a part of, I believe, I believe it's called your Dark Holiday Collection. Um, I can't remember all of the candles off the top of my head, but this one called Winter Guardian. We have this massive gargoyle with not hooves, he's got claws. But he definitely has those kind of like ram horns. So some form of mythological creature with some pretty monstrous wings covered on snow, st uh, perched uh, on top of what has to be this, this massive cathedral with that gothic window. Look at all of the detail on this label. This artwork is insane. And not only the artwork, but like the print quality of the label. Like this is, you know, this, I, I don't know how, uh, Nikki, you're printing these, whether it is like a, just like a standard home printer, or like a jet printer or inkjet, uh, a laser or whatever, what have you, but uh, it certainly doesn't look like it. It has a very nice, finish to it. I hope you guys can see the quality. And we have this tumbler that I'm guessing is six ounces? A six ounce tumbler? Um, like we see in Kringle. I love these jars. They're heavy, heavy, heavy. But what's good about them is it's almost impossible to break these things unless you like literally throw them against the wall. Let's see what this smells like. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. <sighs> okay, 
so let's start with so some okay let me take it in let me take it in give me some time this is why I have to edit my videos so citrus herbal wood citrus herbal wood so I always have to break it down by category floral no Minerality or soil? Kind of. But again, you know, I think this whole, you know, this, this structure of this building might be putting that into my head. So I'm getting uh, very much a wooden tree forest experience, but it's not Christmas tree at all. Um, so some sweet wooden robust notes. So when I said citrus, there is a zestiness here. Um, zesty clementine, zesty orange. Navel orange, you can keep it very simple. This is a really beautiful smell. You know, to me, immediately, this is, this is to me like a warm hearth, you know, ex, um, candle. I've smelled a lot of candles, and they're not quite like this, but to me, this does have that feeling of being by the fire. But there's a coolness to this too which is appropriate there's got to be this cool slate stone but also icy snowy kind of smell and it's not smoky and that orange that citrus is becoming a little bit creamsicle-ish and a really really pleasing way. Ah, and spices, spices, spices. I would venture to guess would venture to guess nutmeg and I said cedar, but maybe some oakiness as well. Maybe some toasted oak. Again, not smoky. This is a really, uh, this is not an easy candle to pick apart. Um, uh, this is something in a situation where if I had to evaluate this, I would need uh, some good time to really uh, make my notes and construct what I think, but this is, this is really, really very, very pretty. Ah, there's some fruity, you know, I want to save more fruit, but I don't, I'm, you know, conceptually, I'm afraid to say something and be far off and lead people down the wrong path. Okay, so Nikki is helping me out here. Uh, Snow-laden evergreens, icy cinders. Okay, so not smoky, but I so icy cinders, cinder torches, and frozen forest. So if there's no citrus here, I'm I'm guessing the the evergreen is providing yeah because eric if you have this say for example eric if you have this think about if you like picked up a navel orange and you scratched the zest and you smelled the zest or your finger where you scratched it you get this really fresh orange or citrus experience And yeah, definitely not Christmas tree, but 
like f definitely forced. So that is a refreshing take on Christmas because, you know, we we have a lot of Christmas tree candles uh, or pine tree spruce candles, but this is going to give us a different kind of evergreen forest profile. This is this is the real deal, folks. Um, fire, ice, and 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 cold wind. Um, uh, cold wind bringing in all of those those stray remnants lifted off the forest floor. And it's bright too. It's not, um, I think a lot of people might assume this would be a very um, thick, heavy fragrance, but I still find a, a lot of brightness in this that keeps it uh, very much balanced. This is the whole deal. This is the whole package. So, Nikki, thank you so much. Um, I wish I could have given a better on-the-spot evaluation, but with any good candle, it's really not about the individual ingredients. It's more about the sum of its parts. And when I look at that label and I smell this candle, um, there is... The label gives me information, but the smell is giving me more information. So, it, um, again, there's nowhere do I see fire on here, but it definitely, when I smell this, it's completing um, this larger portrait. And the torches, I love that. Okay, so torches. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I, I highly recommend this, and if anyone... Um, has burned or purchased or experienced which city uh, scare i'm sorry it's always going to happen i'm going always, always going to mix up the two names but washington wicks candles i have a whole collection of nikki's fragrances right here uh and i adore them all is this one still available nikki um on your etsy page and, she's, and Nikki says, no worries, you're welcome, Shane. Thanks for believing in my company. Uh, I believe in you, Nikki. Nikki, you said you're going to do something. And um, and uh, you, you kind of stuck to your guns and you saw through. And I think uh, hopefully you're reaping the benefits. And you have many uh, prosperous candle-making years in front of you. Winter's Eve, Pacific Drizzle. I have Pacific Drizzle, and it's sold out. I apologize. I wish I could have done this sooner. Uh, and so, because um, I'm kind of tempting everybody, but unfortunately, this is sold out. So this is a perfect reason why you got to go over to Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram account. I'm going to recommend that you, you do so um, um, uh, and go on Etsy as well and make sure that you follow Washington Wicks because when things like this, you know, when she says micro batch, she means that, she, you know, Nikki's not making hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these things. Um, so there's only so much to go around and they sell out quick and uh, I completely understand why, if this one was popular, which I'm guessing it was since it's sold out, why it's sold out. I, I, it's, it's very beautiful. And what's great too, I love this, this will work all winter long too. This will work all winter long. Or honestly, on any dreary, rainy day. Yeah, but I'm going to be in New Hampshire soon, and it's hopefully there's going to be a lot of snow. And, um, man, it's, if I, like, I want to take this with me and burn it. I don't think I can burn a candle in the cabin I stay in, but um, very well done. Nikki, Nikki we, we got we to gotta, we gotta maybe work on something together in the future. Um, I gotta convince you somehow because um, you you really have some dynamite stuff. 
And so all of these gifts, thank you so much, Nikki. Let me just show everything again one more time. And everyone just say, um, um, uh, th thanks to Nikki. Because really, honestly, I, I really had nothing else for today other than Nikki's beautiful box. We have Winter Guardian um, in this beautiful jar. Uh, brand new socks. I always need socks. Sasquatch. We got big the foot. The question is, do I take it out of the packaging? Uh, it's always that complicated thing. Um, stuff like this, I always like to just like pin up on the wall, especially if it's from you guys. Um, but uh, it is pine scented. I don't know. That would look pretty cool in my little car. And also have my sticker and coffee, which I'm not kidding. I'm probably going to make right. I'll make a, a big, big batch of this for myself as soon as I finish up this live vlog. Um, um, let's see if there's anything else we need to talk about um uh on on f friday morning or thursday evening i will be taking off to to new hampshire i might be making some pit stops along the way um if you look at your map you might be able to guess where some of those pit stops are going to be uh, but this uh, this upcoming weekend will be Santa's Village. Uh, I have an interview uh, scheduled for the owner of the park, which is so amazing, it's so gracious that it's a family-owned company, Santa's Village up in New Hampshire. They opened up in 1954. Um, I don't know how they pronounce it, the Dubois or Du Bois family, um, but uh, the, 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 the parents, um, the founders have unfortunately passed away, but their two sons have, have carried on with the business and have done such a wonderful job keeping this amazing gem of an, a themed amusement park up in Jefferson, New Hampshire. So. Uh, all I've done I've been there two years in a row and I figured I needed to do something a little bit different so I figured this year we'd figure you know focus a little bit more on the history uh, dig deeper into um, the park itself uh, you know ask the questions that I have uh, so get an interview but also get on a lot of rides and have a lot of fun and something people keep requesting two years in a row I've been to Santa's Village but I really didn't film myself eating. It's that's that's simply just because I don't eat when I vlog. It's really bad because it, it I need to eat for my blood sugar. Um, but when I'm working, I just don't eat. So I'm gonna try to focus on a lot of the, the the treats that they have available there. So this way, it's not too repetitive of past years. But I will be in New Hampshire for a few days. Hopefully. We'll be able to get some fun videos done while I'm up there. There is going to be, um, in between, uh, in betweens material. I've been saying this for months, but what's going to happen is it's going to be after Christmas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compile everything that I filmed this season and make one long video of behind the scenes footage or uh, break them up in segments. Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that, but there will be in-betweens, so please uh, uh, give me time for that, but look forward to that, because there's some really fun stuff. And um, I, believe, I believe that's it. Do you guys have any questions or requests? Beware of the humbugs, Shane. Um, yes, those, those humbugs. And if anybody needs anything from the gift shop, please let me know. They have really cool stuff in the gift shop, like this guy right here. I'm not gonna kid, I'm not kidding. I was gonna do a giveaway. I was gonna do a giveaway. 
for Santa's Village, Poogie Penguin. Poogie the Penguin has his own ride at the park. And I'm guessing there's a little bit more history behind this guy, um, which is precisely the reason why I want to meet with the proprietor or one of the proprietors of the park to find out more because uh, 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 they have a lot of characters. They have a lot of characters in the park and I want to know the genesis behind these characters. But I was going to auction this him off last year and I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. I bought him and I'm like, there's no way I'm getting rid of this guy. Go up there, Poogie. Poogie, no. Poogie fell. So if anyone needs anything, they have handmade ornaments, they have t-shirts, they have hoodies. Uh, I'll be happy to pick up anything for you guys. And then maybe I, I certainly will be picking up postcards uh, for Patreon members and sending them out uh, and such. And maybe I will, we will do a giveaway this year. Maybe I'll buy another Poogie Penguin. Uh, Doug says, you guys have a great one. I got to go. Good talking with you, Shane, of course. Yes, uh, thank you for joining in, Doug. Uh, and uh, Jana, Jana? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Jana, Jana? I hope you feel better, Shane. Thank you. I definitely still, I still feel a little bit of those cold chills. Uh, so I'm going to keep drinking my ginger tea and um, making sure that I don't feel... Uh, I'm prepared um, Stephanie says yay for postcards still waiting for my first one Stephanie did you not get your postcard that is not a good sign um, I know I sent you one so I will thank you for letting me know I will send you out another please if any of that happens to anyone Please don't be shy to speak up. I remember because I put a Mr. Rogers post uh, post stamp on it. Um, I won't forget, Stephanie. I won't forget. Um, and I'll have that out to you. I really apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, yes, postcards uh, will be coming out. Um, and... Uh, I just want to thank you guys really, um, uh, you know, I don't know, how can I sum this up? I want to say, you know, you know, things have been slow uh, for this holiday season. Not as many uploads as uh, you guys are probably expecting. Certainly not as many uploads as I was expecting. A lot of life uh, stuff has gotten in the way. All good stuff, but you know, we all have are, you know, things that happen, and um, um, the good news is things are getting done, they're just not getting edited, so uh, I'm, I'm really trying to not put an over, an enormous amount of stress uh, on myself to get things done, rush to get things done, rush to get things done, I am rushing, but I'm not trying to uh, work at super superhero speeds because that's just how bad videos get made so I'm just so grateful that you guys are not um, you kind of understand that um, you know uh, uh, under, understand that uh, you know um, uh, that it's not, this is not like I'm giving up. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring you guys or being lazy. Uh, just a lot, a lot of stuff on my plate. A lot of stuff for the future of this channel. A lot of stuff for the holiday seasons. I'm dealing with a lot of just everyday, personal, normal stuff. Um, and um, hopefully get everything ironed out so this way there will be more constant more reliable uh, number of videos coming out on a weekly basis um, just uh, have a little bit of faith a little bit of patience that's all i can ask for but i don't need to ask because that's all you guys have shown me uh is patience and uh 
uh, a lot of support. So thank you so much. And I'm reading all your comments. You're the beast, Shane. You're the beast, says Costa. We all appreciate everything you do. I'm very excited for the future of your channel. Thank you very much, Costa. I'm laughing at this beast comment. I'm sure that, sorry that the camera's jumping. Uh, but when I was a kid, Bill Clinton came to my town and he drove by. I was in second grade. Not second grade. I was in elementary school. I can't remember what grade, but he came to our town and they brought us out and we had to make big signs. And my sign that I held out for him as he drove by in the limousine, I wanted to write, Bill Clinton, you're the best. And I put, Bill Clinton, you're the beast. And you'd think my teachers would have fixed this. They didn't. They just let me go out there and show that to the President of the United States um, as he drove by. And I still... I uh, still have a picture. My parents have a picture of me holding up my sign. You're the beast. Um, anyway, guys, uh, have a fantastic Monday. Thank you. And sorry about uh, my absentee yesterday. I try to, not, I try to plow through those uh, headaches, but th that one was unbearable. I will be seeing you guys soon. Two things. Make sure you visit uh, Witch City Wix. Check out this box set. Please make sure you check that out. Uh, because uh, the more of those that we sell, uh, the more of those that you guys uh, get your hands on, the bigger uh, and more exciting collaborations which City and Wix and I, the Candle Enthusiast, will be working on together. But also a huge shout out to Washington Wix. Support small business. Support artists. So support Nikki, our dear friend, because... Uh, we need to see her candle uh, company grow and how great is it going to be looking back several years from now seeing uh, how far uh, she's come um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm happy to be on this little uh, journey with you Nikki just kind of watching from the sidelines but like I said everything I've smelled so far has been off the charts so thank you for everyone for joining in uh eric thank you to you for helping me out with the post yesterday uh and i will be seeing you guys very very soon have a great one guys bye bye now